Hello everyone, hope you all are well. Today I will discuss about Fourier series and transform. So Fourier series and transform is the most important topic in electrical engineering and as well as in mathematics. So myself, Mr. Santoru Noskar, Assistant Professor of Electrical Department, GKCM GIS Group and my mail id is santonu.uit at the rate of gmail.com and santonu.noscore underscore gkcm at the rate of jisgroup.org and this is my facebook page being electrify with santon you can get all the lecture in my facebook page and also in my youtube channel so before starting this lecture i want to share with you something that was told by joseph Fourier who invent Fourier series and transform that mathematics compares the most diverse phenomenon and discovers the secret analogies that unite them. Now let us talk about your syllabus. So name of the course is electric circuit theory, course code PCW301 and teaching scheme 3 hours per lecture, 3 hours uh, per week lecture and this is the theory class and tutorial one hour per week and practical two hours per week and credit point four plus one so about this objective and this content i have already discussed in my previous classes so i have already completed introduction portion graph theory coupled circuit laplace transform network mm -hmm. theorem two port network analysis and filter circuit so only left is Fourier method away from analysis where I will discuss about Fourier series and Fourier transform and application in circuit analysis. So let us start. So who is Baron Jean Baptiste Joseph Fourier? In 1807, the French mathematician Joseph Fourier submitted a paper to the Academy of Science in Paris. In it, he presented a mathematical description of problem involving heat conducts. Although the paper was uh, at first rejected, it contains idea that would develop into an important area of mathematics named in honor Fourier analysis. One surprising ramification of Fourier works was that many familiar functions can be expanded in, fine, in infinite series and integrals involving trigonometric function the idea today is uh, important in uh, modeling many phenomena in physics and engineering also so Fourier analysis is a method for analysis of steady state response of a network subject to a periodic input so before knowing this Fourier series and transform, you have to know what is periodic function. So function f theta is periodic if it is defined for all real theta and if there is some positive number t such that f theta plus t equals to f theta. So let's come to the point Fourier series. So French mathematician J. B. J. Fourier first studied the periodic function in 1822 and published, uh, published his uh, theorem which states that any arbitrary periodic function can be represented by an infinite series of sinusoidal of harmonically related frequencies and this infinite series is known as Fourier series. Thus if fx is a periodic function then Fourier series is fx equals to a0 plus a1 cos x plus s2 cos x plus uh, like this a n cos x and also b1 uh, sin x b2 sin 2 x b3 sin 3 x like this b n sin n x so summation of all of this Fourier series can be generally written as fx equals to half a0 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinitive a n cos n x plus uh, summation n equals to 1 to infinitive b n sin n x where a 0 equals to 1 by phi infinitive uh, integration minus phi to phi 
fx dx and an equals to 1 by pi integration minus pi to pi fx cos nx dx and bn equals to 1 by pi integration minus pi to pi fx sin nx dx. So Fourier series um, make use of orthogonal relationship of the sine and cosine function. So basic formula of Fourier series, the Fourier series of the periodic function fx with periodic 2 pi is defined as the trigonometric series with the coefficient of a0 and b a n and b n known as Fourier coefficients. Uh, determined by formula 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 took here 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 so this individual term in Fourier series are known as harmonic ok so every function fx of period, period 2 pi satisfy following condition known as Dirichlet condition can be expressed in the form of Fourier series so what is Dirichlet condition? I will discuss later. So the conditions are fx is bounded and single value. A function fx is called single valued if each point in the domain it has unique value in the range. And number two fx has at most a finite number of maxima and minima in the interval. And number three fx has at most a finite number of discontinuities in the interval example if sine inverse x we can say that the function of sine inverse 1x can't be expressed as Fourier series as it is not a single valued function and tan x also in the interval 0 to pi cannot be expressed as a Fourier series because it is infinite at x equals to pi by 2. So let us talk about Dirichlet condition. So who is Dirichlet? Jonathan uh, Johann Peter Gustav uh, Dirichlet was a German mathematician who made deep contribution to number theory and to the theory of Fourier series and other topic in mathematical analysis. So he is created with being one of the first mathematics to give the modern formal definition of function. So what is the Dirichlet condition? same as ft equals to a0 plus uh, into, uh, summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega t plus b n sin n omega t okay so function f equals to 1 by t equals to 1 by half omega equals to 2 pi f 2 pi by 2 equals to 2 so condition is uh, one number one ft must be single valued everywhere and ft must have a finite number of discontinuities and must be finite in one period number three ft finite numbers of maximum and minima number four the integration over one period less than infinity so condition zero to t plus t ft dt less than equals to infinity for all t so uh, if this uh, function represented energy which would be supplied by the source in one cycle that means the energy in the waveform for each cycle must be finite so all physical waveform would of course satisfy this criteria therefore in practical engineering problem it is not necessary to check whether a function satisfied Dirichlet condition now let's talk about Fourier series for even and odd functions for even function if function fx is an even periodic function with the video 2l which is equals to x equals to less than equals to minus l greater than equals to minus l and less than equals to l then f x cos n pi x by l is even while fx sin n pi x by l is odd okay so thus the Fourier series explanation of an even periodic function fx with video 2l when x greater than equals to minus l and less than equals to l is given by fx equals to a0 by 2 plus summation of uh, n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos pi n x y l and where a0 equals to 2 by l uh, integration 0 to l fx dx and a n equals to 2 by l 
integration 0 to l fx cos n by x by l dx where n equals to 1 2 like this 3 4 5 6 and bn equals to 0 now let's talk about the odd function so if function fx is an even periodic function with the period 2l where x greater than equals to minus l and less than equals to l then fx cos n pi x by l is even while fx sin n pi x by l is odd thus the Fourier series expansion of an odd periodic function fx with period 2l where x greater than equals to minus l and less than equals to l is given by fx equals to summation of n equals to 1 to infinity bn sin n phi x by l where bn equals to 2 by l integration 0 to l fx sin n phi x by l dx where n equals to 1 2 3 4 like this okay now uh, here is uh, I will discuss about an example mathematics of Fourier series so let the function fx be 2 pi periodic and suppose that it is presented by the Fourier series fx equals to a0 by 2 plus integration um, summation n equals to n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus b n sin nx and calc now calculate the coefficient a0 a n and b n so let's talk about the solution to define a0 we integrate the Fourier series on interval of minus pi to pi so integration minus pi to pi fx dx equals to pi a0 uh, plus um, summation of uh, n equals to 1 to uh, infinity uh, a n integration cos n x dx uh, interval is minus pi to pi plus b n integration minus pi to pi sin n x dx for all n greater than 0. Now integration cos n x dx uh, um, interval minus pi to pi equals to sin nx by n okay which is equals to 0 and this is the interval and sin nx dx to integration sin nx dx interval minus pi to pi equals to minus cos nx by n this is the interval equals to 0 therefore all the term on the right of the summation sign are 0 so we obtain integration minus y to pi fx dx equals to pi a0 or a0 equals to 1 by pi integration fx dx so in order to find the coefficient n a a n we multiply both both sides of the Fourier series by cos mx and integrate term by term which is uh, integration minus y to pi fx cos mx dx equals to a0 by 2 integration minus y to pi cos mx dx plus uh, summation of n equals to 1 to infinity uh, within bracket a n integration minus y to pi cos nx cos mx dx plus b n integration minus y to pi sin nx cos mx dx so the first uh, term of the right side is 0 then using the well-known trigonometric identification we have integration minus y to pi sin nx cos mx dx equals to half integration minus y to pi within bracket sin n plus n, m, n plus mx equals to 0 plus sin n minus mx dx and integration cos nx cos mx dx uh, equals to half integration minus y to pi cos n plus n x equals to 0 plus cos n minus uh, m x dx so if m is not equals to m then in case uh, when so before that condition in co if m not equals to n and in case of m equals to n we can write 
इंटीग्रेशन माइनस वाई टू वाई साइन एन एक्स कॉस एम एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू हाफ इंटीग्रेशन माइनस वाई टू वाई साइन टू एम एक्स प्लस साइन जीरो डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू इंटीग्रेशन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर एम एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू हाफ कॉस माइनस कॉस टू एम एक्स बाई टू एम सो दिस इज द इंटरवल पाई टू माइनस माइनस वाई टू फाई इट इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर एम विद इन ब्रैकेट माइनस कॉस टू एम पाई प्लस कॉस टू एम फाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वी कैन कट दिस टू थिंग्स वी कैन राइट इंटीग्रेशन माइनस फाई टू पाई कॉस एन एक्स कॉस एम एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू हाफ इंटीग्रेशन माइनस फाई टू पाई कॉस टू एम एक्स प्लस कॉस जीरो डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू इंटीग्रेशन कॉस स्क्वायर एम एक्स डी एक्स विच इज इक्वल्स टू हाफ साइन टू एम एक्स बाई टू एम इंटरवल माइनस फाई टू पाई प्लस टू पाई एंड विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन बाई फोर एम साइन टू एम पाई एंड माइनस टू एम विद इन ब्रैकेट माइनस पाई प्लस पाई इक्वल्स टू पाई दस इंटीग्रेशन माइनस पाई टू पाई एफ एक्स कॉस एम एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू ए एम पाई एंड ए एम इक्वल्स टू वन बाई फाई इंटीग्रेशन माइनस फाई टू फाई एफ एक्स कॉस एम एक्स डी एक्स फायर एम इक्वल्स टू वन टू थ्री लाइक दिस सिमिलरली मल्टीप्लाइंग द फोर इयर सीरीज बाई साइन एम एक्स एंड इंटीग्रेटिंग टर्म बाई टर्म वी ऑप्टेन द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर बी एम एंड बी एम इक्वल्स टू वन बाई पाई इंटीग्रेशन माइनस फाइव टू फाइव एफ एक्स साइन एम एक्स डी एक्स फायर एम इक्वल्स टू वन टू थ्री लाइक दिस एंड री राइटिंग द फॉर्मूला फॉर ए एन बी एन वी कैन राइट द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द फोर इयर को बी सीन हुई किस ए एन इक्वल्स टू वन बाई फाइव इंटीग्रेशन माइनस फाइव टू फाइव एफ एक्स कॉस एन एक्स डी एक्स एंड बी एन इक्वल्स टू वन बाई फाइव इंटीग्रेशन माइनस फाइव टू फाइव एफ एक्स साइन एन एक्स डी एक्स Let's talk about another example. Uh, question is find the Fourier series of f x equals to x square plus x. So solution is the Fourier series of f x is given by this equation. We all know the equation f x equals to half a zero plus summation of n equals to one to infinity n cos n x plus uh, summation of n equals to one to infinity b n sin n x. So using this above uh, equation, we can get the value of a zero, which is equals to one by five integration minus five to five f x d x, and equals to one by five integration minus five to five x square s plus d x. So by integrating this thing, we can conclude the value one by five equals to x cube by three plus x square by two. Interval is minus five to five. So the value is one by five. In the uh, within bracket pi cube minus by three plus pi square by two and plus pi cube plus by three minus pi square by two. So the whole value is a zero equals two pi cube by three. Now for a n, uh, a n equals to one by pi integration minus pi to pi uh, f x cos n x d x, which is equals to one by pi. Uh, integration minus pi to pi x square x cos n x dx, so which is equal to one by pi within bracket x square x sine n x by n minus two x plus one within bracket minus cos n x by n square plus two minus sine n x by n cube, and the whole is in interval of minus pi to pi. So concluding this, uh, concluding this value, we can get the value is four minus one to the power n by n square, and for b n. Equals to one by pi integration minus pi to pi f x sine n x d x equals to one by pi integration minus pi to pi x square x sine x d x and which is equals to one by pi x square x minus cos n x by n minus two x plus one minus sine n x by n n square plus two cos n x by n cube and whole thing is in interval of minus pi to pi. So by concluding this uh, value, we can get. Uh, which is equals to minus two minus one to the power n by n. So hence, Fourier series of f x uh, equals to x square plus x is this. This is the value of a zero. This is the value of a n, and this is the value of b n. Now comes to the Fourier transform. So what is Fourier transform? 
Fourier transform name after Joseph Fourier is a mathematical is a mathematical transformation employed to transform signal between time or spatial domain and frequency domain. So it is a tool that breaks away from a function or signal into an alternative representation characteristics by sine and cosine. It shows that any waveform can be rewritten as the weighted sum of the sinusoidal function. So now we will discuss spatial to frequency domain. So look at this four picture. A is the discrete function of M points and B is its Fourier spectrum. And C is a discrete function with uh, twice the number of non-zero point and D is its Fourier spectrum. So just for example. Now uh, Fourier transform. So forward Fourier and inverse Fourier transform. So given an image A and its Fourier transform is cap C. So then the forward transform goes from the spatial domain either continuous or discrete to the frequency domain which is always forward. So A Fourier A and the inverse goes from the frequency domain to the spatial domain inverse small a equals to Fourier inverse caps. Now the Fourier transform of f u of a single variable continuous cap cont uh, continuous function f x now f u equals to integration minus infinity to infinity plus infinity f x e to the power minus j 2 pi u x dx and the Fourier transform of f u v of double variable continuous function of x y now f u v equals to integration uh, infinity integration f x y e to the power minus j 2 pi ux plus py dx dy now the Fourier transform of a discrete function of one variable fx x equals to 0 1 2 m minus 1 and if u equals to 1 by m summation x equals to 0 m minus 1 fx to the power minus j pi ux by m where u equals to 0 1 2 2 m minus 1 and the concept of frequency domain follows the Euler's formula which is e to the power j theta equals to cos theta plus j sin theta. Now Fourier transform in one dimension. So f u equals to 1 by m uh, summation x equals to 0 m minus 1 f x cos 2 pi u x uh, by m minus j sin 2 pi u x by m. So each term of the Fourier transform is composed of the sum of all values of the function f x and the values of f x are multiplied by sine and cosine of various. So each of the m term of f u is called frequency component of the transform and the domain values of u over which uh, the values of f u range is appropriately called the frequency tone. Now properties of Fourier transform. So first is linearity. The scaling of function scale uh, its transform pair adding two function corresponding to adding the two frequency spectrum. Look at this linearity function. Okay, hx hf if hx hf and then hx hf gx agf then a h x equals uh, to a h f h x plus g x which is uh, hf plus gf so scaling property if f t equals to f omega then f a t equals to 1 by a f omega by a now time differentiation if f t is to f omega then df by dt equals to j omega f omega so convolution property if f1 t equals to f1 omega and f2 t equals to f2 omega then f1 convolution f2 t f1 t convolution f2 t equals to f1 omega f2 omega where this sign is convolution and f1 t f2 t equals to 1 by 2 pi f1 omega convolution f2 omega now frequency shift property if f t equals to f omega uh, then f t e to the power j omega 0 t equals to f omega minus omega 0. time shift property if f t equals to f omega then f t minus t 0 equals to f omega e to the power minus j omega t 0. In other words, a shift in time correspondence to a change in phase in the Fourier transform. So Fourier transformation in image processing. So is used to access the geometric characteristics of a spatial domain image. The Fourier domain decomposes the image into sinusoidal component. 
in most uh, implementation fourier image is shifted in such a way that the f00 represent the center of the image the further away from the center and image point is the higher is it corresponding frequency now fourier transform image processing next the fourier transform is used in a wide range in image processing uh, which is for image filtering image application image analysis image filtering image uh, reconstruction and image compression so here is a picture with noisy noisy image is a picture of noisy image look at this picture after fourier spectrum we get the noise cleaned image okay so some uh, example of fourier transform image domain and frequency domain look at this picture Let's talk about your uh, some reference book which is circuit theory and analysis and synthesis by Ovidik Chakravarti and uh, circuit and system by KM Sony. This book is very good book and very compact good uh, compact book for BTEC and diploma engineer and circuit theory and network by S. P. Ghosh and A.K. Chakravarti. So that's all about Fourier series and transform. Uh, if you have any query then comment in my comment box i will definitely reply to your comment and please subscribe my channel and stay safe and stay happy thank you